Hi everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back to my channel for ideas and inspiration for your Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick around and see how I pack a lot of box for a little money, and I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave. Today's unboxing is for a special five to nine year old girl, and it has a butterfly theme. I wrapped the box with this really pretty and colorful butterfly wrapping paper so she might get a hint of what's in store for her inside the box. And then I decorated the inside of the lid with some butterflies I cut out from the wrapping paper. And I used foam stickers to write, God loves you. This is what she'll see when she opens her box. Really cute. And this plush is what started this theme. I purchased it at Goodwill for 50 cents. And it looks like it was probably a promotional plush. It says celebrate your wow worthy season. And it does have a cookie on it, but I don't think it is really recognizable necessarily as a cookie. So cuddly and it's so colorful. I just thought it was super cute. It could even be used as a pillow or a headrest. So she's got the cutest little butterfly for her plush. And this is what morphed this into a five to nine for me. I think it started out as a two to four. And um, then I found um, some five to nine size clothing. This is a size eight. It's a skirt or a scooter skirt. It has shorts underneath. And it has a butterfly pattern on it. It has tears. I got this uh, at Walmart for a dollar recently. These are the 365 kids, Garanimals, and then a coordinating shirt that I think is so pretty. It has a butter, beautiful butterfly, it says keep blooming on it, also in a size eight for her. A little uh, change purse, that I got it at Dollar General for 15 cents. I always like to tuck hair accessories into something and um, these little change purses do the trick. This one has a couple of Jojo Siwa bows I, I purchased at Walmart on clearance. I attached one to a headband um, so she can either wear the headband by itself or she'll get an idea that she can uh, use this for a, a place to put her hair bows if she has really close cropped hair. Uh, a lot of my boxes often go to Africa and a lot of these girls keep their hair really short. Um, I've given her a couple of other barrettes. They're kind of a silvery color. And these are those snap clip barrettes. And I also found some butterfly barrettes at the Dollar Tree recently. And they're like a silver medal and they have these cute butterflies on them. I added some uh, spiral hair uh, elastics. But if she doesn't have long hair, she can use these as bracelets. One of them has a little butterfly charm on it. That's all her hair accessories. In her soap dish, I always like to put it for the five to nines and the 10 to 14s, um, emery boards and a nail clipper. I get the nail clipper. Ah, actually, I got both of them on Amazon in bulk. Got a pair of slippers. And this is like in a silver hologram kind of fabric. And I purchased these on clearance at Walmart for a dollar a little while back when they had their slippers 
on sale. And inside each of them, I've tucked some items. And this one, she has a uh, flying disc, a collapsible flying disc. Get these on bulk in bulk on Amazon. And uh, three bouncy balls that have little hearts on them. Clearance at Walmart after Valentine's Day. I picked this cute bracelet up. It says love on it in little bead letters in this very hot pink color. Um, I got it at Dollar General for 50 cents on clearance recently. So I thought that could be pretty for her outfit. And also recently I picked up uh, jump ropes for 10 cents at Walmart in the other shoe. I put her crayons, 24 pack of Crazy Art crayons, and I just slipped it into a little plastic bag just in case it should melt. <laughs> recently I, I saw this at Party City for a dollar. It's really cute. Let's see if I can wind this up. Uh, this table is kind of slick, so these things don't always want to move. <laughs> so she's got this cute little butterfly toy. I like to include craft kits whenever I can find them. And this is a butterfly cross stitch kit comes with the yarn, the needle, and the grid, and instructions, illustrated instructions on how to do the butterfly on there. So I thought that was perfect for this shoe box. Oh, I think I might have missed this little ring. I just tucked inside that uh, little change purse a little plastic daisy ring. I included a journal. I typically include them in a 10 to 14 box. I have included them in some five to nines. Five-year-old is probably a little young, but I think a, an eight or a nine-year-old would use a journal. And this one says, be brave. And it's got the cutout of the word brave and uh, butterflies on it. So I thought this was perfect. And this was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I added a daisy pen. I got this recently at the Dollar Tree and it matches the daisies in her shirt. <laughs> so she'll have a pretty pen to use with her journal. She's got a couple of pairs of socks and some great colors that coordinate with her outfit and these I get I get all my socks and underwear for these kids um, on clearance at Walmart I've got a little um, chapstick for her that I uh, put inside a, a plastic bag and, and rolled it up just in case this should melt don't want that to melt all over her items She's got a couple of combs. I included a little Playmobil figure that came in a blind bag. It came in pieces. I put it together to see what it was because like I said, it's a blind bag and you don't know what it is till you put it together. But she's a, a little Southern Belle with her opera glasses and I figure she might be um, at Madame Butterfly watching that, that opera. I found at the Dollar Tree this huge pencil pouch. It's, it's just a zippered pouch. I'm calling it a pencil pouch, but it's so big I had to fold it over to fit it in the shoe box. But as you can see, it's got the butterflies on it. It's actually the exact same pattern as the um, printed uh, wrapping paper that I use to wrap her box. Inside she has an assortment of pencils, several of them or maybe even all of the, all of the um, decorated pencils. Yeah, I think all the decorated pencils I gave her are 
butterfly patterns that I got probably after Easter clearance at Walmart, like 10 pencils for, for nine cents. And then she's got four regular number two pencils. I included, what, six colored pencils and two pens, a black and a blue pen. And I think that, and then we have, um, I've got eraser tops on four of the pencils and a big pink eraser and several bug erasers, which do include uh, a butterfly. And I think there's a yellow bee in there as well. Then I also gave her three uh, pencil sharpeners. Oh, there's also a blunt tip scissor in there. So I love this pencil bag. I think that is really cool for her school supplies. She has a lavender soft washcloth and her coloring book, because I always put coloring books in my shoe boxes, is a Disney princess coloring and activity book that comes with a slap bracelet that she can color. It also comes with uh, stickers in here, Disney princess stickers. I think there's some in the back as well. And some really, really pretty, pretty pictures of the, of the Disney princesses. But I did want to include um, some butterflies. And this is probably more of what I would put in a 10 to 14 year old shoe box. And they're huge. This came in a big pad. I meant to bring it up here to show you, but um, I bought these at Holler dot com like uh, I want to say two years ago but I didn't read the fine print and I didn't realize how big it was I thought it was something I could fold over and uh, put the whole pad in the shoe box but it wasn't so I've hung on to it and this one has some pretty graphics of butterfly and this one is just flowers this one's not quite as intricate. And then this one is pretty with all these black and white butterflies that she can color or, I don't know, she could just pin it up in her room if she'd like. So I tucked that inside here so she'd have some butterflies to color. She's got a lavender toothbrush with a cap a spiral notebook for school. I added this at the last minute. I've seen these a million times at the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be great for this shoe box. Um, it's the life cycle of a butterfly starting from eggs, larva, caterpillar, pupa. It does, you know, explain the stages in English, but if she doesn't read English, I think she can still enjoy this and understand, you know, stage one, stage two, stage three, etc. So I thought that was very pretty. And this tells about these different butterflies, what they are, their names, and that sort of thing. So I, I liked in, uh, including this in this shoe box. I think it's educational. She's got a couple of pairs of underwear, and these are uh, Moana underwear, clearance from Walmart. I included several sheets of stickers. This one is really pretty. It's uh, gem studded butterflies. Uh, they're clear stickers. They're actually for like glass or or a, you know, like a cup or a water bottle. So I, I hope she'll put them on like a window or mirror, that sort of thing. They'll be really pretty. So she's got those and a sheet of pretty butterflies, a sheet of funny fingerlings, and a sheet of other insects, um, including a butterfly in the top corner there. 
so she's got quite a few stickers. Then I gave her a really pretty butterfly tote bag. This was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Kind of a swirl pattern with butterflies on it. Really pretty to tote all her items home or to school if she needs to do that. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.